and all week long. Good morning, Las Vegas. We'll be helping you and your family head back to school. But even with some kids back in class, the cafeterias, those will stay empty. And we have 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joining us live right now with some of those changes and how your students will get their lunch safely. Sean. Yeah, good morning, Kalina. Whether it has been in school or in a drive through line, the demand for food has been high during this pandemic. And local nonprofits and CCSD both say that they are up to meeting that task. When K through third grade students head back to class, gathering in cafeterias will still be a thing of the past. <laughs> Elementary age kids will be released by class to grab lunch. Then they will go back to class to eat it. Larry Scott, CEO of Three Square Food Bank, says that they will continue to supplement CCSD's drive through food distribution sites for everyone who's still distance learning, feeding after school programs, and providing weekend meals. What's critical is our, our communication and relationship with CCSD. Um, as long as they have the ability to continue to feed them, it eliminates some of the pressure that we have. When that uh, begins to uh, cease, then uh, we will certainly have to pick that ball back up. Although CCSD will continue drive through breakfast and lunch pickup at middle and high schools, Scott believes general food insecurity will continue to rise. He says last year they handed out 56 million meals and he expects to deliver 11 million more this year. There's so many food insecure children in our community that uh, we will be there for them. Scott says they've had to do all of that without volunteers in their building, but good news. They will soon bring volunteers back in small groups, helping them rise to the still increasing demand. We are just beginning to open those doors back up, and we're excited about that. Scott says that they expect to bring volunteers back into their three facilities on the same day that in-person learning begins March 1st. If you want to help them out, we've got all the information you need over on our website, KTNV.com. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. Sean,